Hello everyone, welcome back to Hoops Up for another match preview. Another struggling side in the form of Coventry City head to Loftus Road on Tuesday evening. So I caught up with Josh Shale of All Things Sky Blue to get his take on what's going on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and do make sure to check out the All Things Sky Blue channel via the link in the description below. Hi Josh, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks Connor. Uh, not too bad at all. Thanks for having me on. No problem at all. Obviously, we're here to chat about uh, QPRV Coventry on Tuesday evening. So um, let's start off by chatting about how you're feeling about Coventry's season so far. It's only two wins in nine in the league, not the ideal start. So what have you made of it? Yeah, going into the season, a lot of expectation. I know me, myself, I was thinking that we could maybe get top two. A lot of fans were being more realistic, saying maybe top half. Um, but ultimately, it has been a disappointing start to the season. There's been a lot of change off the field. We've lost our assistant manager in AD Vivash, who was critical to us getting to, you know, <clears throat> an FA Cup semi-final last season, season before that, getting to a playoff final uh, in the championship. There's been a lot of change off the field. And I think that some of the players we've brought in, the likes of Ephraim mason Clark, obviously he joined last Jan, but he's our player uh, it's only this season. We've brought a few others from abroad. So I think there's a lot of transition and there's been a lot of change. And I think that we have to be more patient as a fan base, but it's not been the greatest start, uh, as you say, Connor. So what drove, you know, you said you were kind of hoping for top two this season. I know the second half of last season was, uh, was, was much better than the first. Obviously, you had that amazing FA Cup run. But what was driving your expectation of, of top two? Was it how much Coventry spent in the window? Yeah, on paper, we've got a very, very good squad. You know, you just got to look at the uh, players that have gone away of internationals just recently. Hadji Wright is playing for USA. Oliver Davin, who is a, a fantastic ball playing goalkeeper. You may not have heard of him, but he's very promising. On paper, we've got a very, very, very good squad. And like I say, I think building on what we did last season and the season before last, there's a lot to like about our team. Jack Rudani is another one I've not mentioned so far. Probably the shining light in a Huddersfield team that went down last season. So as I say, I'm probably repeating myself a bit here, but on paper, we've got a very, very good squad. And um, I think even when you've got neutrals, you know, independent podcasts that are saying that, you know, we've got a good chance, there's a lot of optimism, which is why, like I say, at the start of the season, myself, I was thinking top two, other fans are quite optimistic and I think we will get there, but it's just a case of being patient, really, despite the um, the expectation. So what's not working? Is it the players are taking time to gel? Are there other issues on the pitch? It's a combination, really, Connor. A combination of three or four things. I think the first thing is we've got an owner in Doug King who took over two years ago. This is the first season, really, where as a fan base, we've seen him really get his fingers stuck into the pie, so to speak. He's making wholesale changes, like I've mentioned, off the field. We've replaced our assistant manager, Adi Vivash, with three or four coaches. So we've not got an assistant manager, so to speak. We've got four coaches working underneath Mark Robbins. But ultimately, the, the, the main thing is the players on the pitch just aren't doing it. I don't know what it is, whether it's too many instructions going on, whether it's players still adapting to each other. We're in you know, mid-October and it seems that our manager and our coaching staff don't know our best squad. They don't know our best 11. And that is always going to spell danger. You know, yourself at QPR, you'll know. If you don't know your best 11 come nearly November, you've, you've got trouble. Um, so... It's a combination of things, really. Um, it's very hard to single it down to, to one solitary thing. So I've seen that Coventry fans are, you know, they're very frustrated. There have been some murmurs of fans saying Robin's out. So you're not Robin's out yourself? No, 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 no. Not for a man that's got us from League Two to the cuff cuspers of the Premier League. It's going to take more than a bad couple of games to, to make me Robin's out. I can see where they're coming from. I think if Robbins was in any other job where he didn't have that credit in the bank, we would be asking major questions. There's there's no doubt in my mind. But like I say, he's brought us this far. It would be, it'd be harsh in my view to start saying Robbins out. It's just not on the cards for me. But if we don't pick up some results in the next six games, I think there will be a, a swing in people saying, you know what? Maybe we need to, to look elsewhere. We've got some massive games coming up yourself. 
We've got Preston uh, on Saturday. We don't really win there. We've not won there in over a century in the league. Middlesbrough coming up, Luton coming up, Sunderland coming up. So we've got massive games and we need to pull our fingers out. It's not just on Robins, it's the players as well. As as a collective, we need to start picking up performances, uh, points, three performances, you know. So who has impressed you so far? You've mentioned a couple of players. Who are the sort of players that are standing out? Uh, I think one player that goes under the radar for me is Josh Eccles. Cov born and bred, he's come through our academy. Central midfielder that's going to give you a, a solid game week in, week out. Um, I think he really is underrated by a lot of our fans, which is strange for a homegrown player. But he's impressed me. Milan Van Avak at right back. For his standards, hasn't had the best season. But because his standards are so high, I think he has had a, a really good season as well. Um, and again, Jack Rudoni. I've seen glimpses and flashes of, of brilliance from him. Just not that full package, but I'm sure that will come. But like I say, there are more things to be op optimistic about than pessimistic, trust me. So if things don't sort of turn around over the next kind of six games, what are your revised season expectations? Well, it's almost like a game of snakes and ladders for me, Connor, because it was top two at the start of the season before a ball was kicked, in my view. Now I've sort of thought, you know, maybe top six. Now I'm thinking maybe mid-table. If we don't pick up wins soon, I would take anywhere between 12th and 16th, 17th right now, to be honest with you, and maybe go again next season. And that's not me being um, overreactive or anything. That's just me being being honest. As 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 a Cov fan, we know we don't start well. We are slow to start. But something's got to change. And, you know, if we don't pick up a, a result or two soon, um, the pressure's going to going to just build on everyone not just Robbins but the whole club and we've come such a long way from playing at Northampton it'd be a real shame at this point to lose what we've we've built as a fan base and as a club really so long answer long answer short um if we don't win the next couple of games I think we're in uh we're in trouble okay well to round off let's get your school prediction for Saturday uh for, for Saturday. Tuesday <laughs> for Tuesday rather I was gonna say don't ask me about Preston um you know what? I'd, I'd take a draw at your place. There's a lot about your team I like. The likes of Alias Chair, I think Anderson in midfield. There's a lot of players that I really admire about you guys. So I think a draw on the road at Loftus Road wouldn't be a bad point. Um, but if we don't get a result on Saturday against Preston, I'll be, I'll be hoping to win against you guys. Um, so score prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-2 because we don't really keep clean sheets this season. Um, so 2-2, two, two, I'm going to say. OK, great. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Josh, and uh, all the best for the rest of the season. No worries. Thanks, Connor. Take care. Thank you so much to Josh once again for joining this match preview. And as I say, if you want to check out all things Sky Blue, you can do so via the link in the description below. Now, like QPR, Coventry didn't get the result they hoped to turn the corner on Saturday, losing 1-0 to Preston. The two teams do seem to be in quite similar positions this season, with the new signings not quite hitting the ground running, things not quite gelling, and that expectation of something good this season not quite materialising. The thing is though, we just played a team like that on Saturday in the form of Portsmouth who hadn't won all season and they got their first win, so I really don't doubt that Coventry will get a result here. And there will be some deja vu if they do because we played Coventry at home two games earlier this time last year. Coventry had started slow but they still came away with a 3-1 win in what was only their second win of the season. It's a very, very pessimistic outlook but I just don't see what we will do differently in two days to make us turn the corner. I imagine Jake Clark Solter and Jonathan Varan will come into the side at the very least. And the latter should help to bolster our defence, but there were so many problems all over this team on Saturday. I'm really not hopeful for this one. So going straight for a match prediction, unfortunately, I'm gonna go for a complete recreation of their win last season. I'm going 3-1 Coventry, but I do sincerely hope that I am wrong. Let me know your own predictions in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video for my match reaction. Come on, you ours.